What's up everybody? This is Retro Reviews Plus once again coming at you with another video. And this is my awesome arcade machine. It's called Battle Shark. It's an awesome uh, submarine game. You can see here's the uh, periscope. And you look look through it like that. So I'm going to try to set up the tripod so you guys can see right through the periscope as if you were um, basically the view that you'd be playing this game as. Uh, it's really cool. Um, these these lights uh, light up when you get hit. I may, I may so show that uh, uh, later on. Uh, they, they, they light up when you get hit and then they like stay lit and the whole thing shakes when you get hit and then also if you, when you take too many hits and your you know your sub is destroyed uh, they do stay lit for maybe five seconds or so and then the whole thing shakes all that time so it's very cool machine and I do have it set up on coin op so I do like the auth you know authentic uh, feel for it so let me set up a tripod here and we'll uh, get started on some battle shark so, Made by a 19, uh, or I'm sorry, made in 1989. This game came out in 1989. Uh, of course, made by Taito, one of their great games. I I do I am a fan of Taito. Uh, they, I thought they had a lot of good games. All right, so let me get a tripod set up, and I'll I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we're back. I got the tripod set up. Uh, this is going to be kind of difficult for me to do it, but I think I can manage. So don't expect a perfect game because I'm like kind of sitting off to the side so I can put the camera right in the view of the periscope. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and. I got two quarters here, so I'm going to have to keep reusing them. Let's go ahead and coin up. Push the trigger button. So yes, we are in a submarine, we're going down, we're diving now, so it's just real simple, you aim your crosshair, shoot the other subs, and also the missiles that they fire, or the torpedoes that they fire at you, basically you have to use your torpedoes to intercept them. And you, you can power up like that. You see, I got like a now besides the torpedoes, it's like a like a laser. So you do have to intercept the tor incoming torpedoes with your torpedo. So, and you are uh, you are limited on um, fire. You, you don't have unlimited torpedoes. I mean, they do replenish, but some if you, if you fire too much, it'll it takes a while for them to replenish. shoot that thing for you just get some points this here's the first boss progress. Now we're above the water, so it's 
it's like you go back and forth. From, it's like you go down, down to the depths, and then, then you go to the surface. It's like you go back and forth, like. So now we got boats on the there. We got helicopters. Even now, jets even there. Now I'm fully powered. As you can see, I got four lasers that come out with a torpedo now. You hear that it's like basically it's time to flip it's, like, it's like boss time there's like a battleship you do get hit you do lose your lasers like like right now I got four if I got hit I'd probably go down to two oh, just like that okay yeah I got hit so I'm down to I, I lost one so I got still got three I thought this game had good um, you know, 3D effects, the sprite scaling. That's what I loved about these late late 80s arcade games, the, 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 the sprite scaling. To, to give it those 3D effects, it's really cool. Yeah, you can't you can't shoot the fish or the any other sea life besides those one sharks that had uh, like some kind of explosives attached to their heads. Roger. Yeah, like I said, this came out in 1989 by Tato. Tato had a lot of good games during the late 80s. Operation Wolf. Uh, this game, Space Gun, came out in 1990. That was a good two-player shooter game. See those sharks, they got like some kind of explosive. Now you can shoot them. Ah. Yeah, them torpedoes can come out of nowhere. Sometimes they come fast. my basic torpedoes now. I thought it was also a cool effect there how the grass, the glass looked like it's cracked, you know, you're sustained this damage. And I got this, this guy to deal with and he does take a lot of shots. And he does fire quite a bit of torpedoes at you. There 
there's my first kill. Another cool effect right there, if you can hear that. That's an SOS. Very cool. They, they paid attention to details in this game. Alright, so we can continue. Shoot those green orbs and you get lasers. See, I said I'm down with my last few shots. So it does replenish, but it takes a while. So you can't just you can't fire all of it because then you won't have anything left to enter, uh, defend yourself with. out of the coin uh, bucket. Now we're surfacing again. subs in the background, you gotta time your torpedoes, you gotta kinda lead them a little bit. That's like a special torpedo you got there where it blows up in the background. So there it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my playthrough of Bla uh, Battle Shark. Uh, I didn't get to finish the game. I actually had to stop uh, filming because uh, someone was knocking at my door, and you know the count, the game over screen ticked down, and I was like, uh, I didn't want to, because I was close to the end. I didn't want to start clear back over again. But you guys got the basically the idea of what kind of game it is. It's it is a really fun game. Um, you know, like I said, the whole thing shakes and the red lights light up when you get hit, and then when you, you know, when your ship uh, submarine's destroyed, it's really cool. So uh, this is a, a still shot I took of it some time ago. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, this uh, review and play of Battle Shark, the arcade game. So until next time, guys, have a good one. <laughs>